Hello world, we're here today talking with Cliff and Jade about their incredible final CS50 project. Y'all, I'm already really intrigued. I love music and would love to hear what's the inspiration behind your project and what does it do? Yeah, so we're both music producers and we were really interested in making a project that could allow um, people just getting into music production or sound synthesis to um, be able to kind of work with it from more of a backdoor approach and be able to see like somehow it works and just um, also get like kind of a simple like easy to use introduction to music production. Um, so yeah, that, that's where the idea for Band 50 came from. And that's why we, um, we chose um, some really simple waveforms that we generated um, through Python um, just by um, various libraries in there that we use to make um, the waves themselves and also just like turn the waves into sound. Amazing. Awesome. Well, if y'all want to show us how it's done, we're super intrigued to see more. Yeah. All right. So we have... Um all right, so we have a selection of instruments, like Cliff was saying, that we can play. So we have a sine wave, a square wave, a sawtooth wave, as well as a drum kit. So our about page goes into some detail about how to use the platform. But if you can select an instrument, here's our basic sine wave. And so we can play, this is like a C major scale, so we can clear whatever was in there. And then we can play any notes we want. So can, and then we can hit playback to hear our work. And we can also um, switch instruments at any time. So we can make different sounds, um, just kind of like that. And it'll add on to the playback. We, can, we also have a drum kit, so we can make various drum sounds. And again, we synthesized all of these sounds ourselves using Python and math formulas and libraries. So we can like make some drum sounds, you know. And you can play it all back. And yeah, that's our project. Amazing. Well, this is super fascinating. I actually love the intersection of like music and math. I think it's a really awesome project. Also, now it's combined with CS as well. So I would love to hear what's y'all's favorite part of your project and what was the most um, difficult challenge that y'all had to overcome? Ooh. Okay. I like the favorite part. Um, yeah, so my favorite part was um, making the, the drum sounds um, because I can um, pull it up. Yeah, we got that right here. Um, but. Yeah, with this, like with a lot of the melodic sounds, it was just a lot, a lot simpler to just like, you know, just like you kind of, you know, use the algorithm to make whatever wave you're doing. If you're doing a sine wave, you know, it's just like taking the sine or something. But um, with the drum sounds, like the way we did that was by manipulating the frequency over time to get like, you know, for example, with a kick drum, you have both the transient, which is a higher pitch sound, and kind of a frequency that um, you know, starts high and goes lower. And then for the bass of the kick, you have like, you know, a longer, like sustained um, sub frequency, you know, around like 60 hertz, 70 hertz. So my favorite part was just um, trying to get those algorithms correct to like really nail down those sounds. But that was also a bit of a challenge. I guess Jade can talk about that. Oh, uh, yeah. So some of the challenges we faced uh, synthesizing the sound. At first, we all at first we had done it in Java, and so we were trying to first package the Java code to bring it into Python, and then like the way we, that didn't really work out. So we we're like, what if we translate it into Python and then translating it so that it didn't like distort the sound or anything like that? Um, definitely caused some challenges. Uh, which we overcame eventually. Sorry, there were a lot of trial and error there. and Stack Overflow. Uh, and then <laughs> we also, on the front end, we also, our original idea had been to map um, the user's clicks on an image. And we tried to do that, and then we switched to the buttons as an interface because of submitting the form through Flask uh, made more sense to do with buttons in the end. So yeah, we had a lot of design iterations and trial and error, and we changed up a lot of how our site worked by the end of it. But we're really happy with the final product and how we overcame all the challenges along the way. Absolutely. Y'all should truly be so proud of yourselves. Did y'all have any coding experience like going into CS50? Uh, yes. Hey, amazing. Um, yeah, me too. Awesome. Super exciting. Yes, this project is absolutely mind-blowing. I love it and I can't imagine the work that must have gone into the back end. <laughs> um, but y'all said you um, like to produce music. Your music producer is also super cool. So I was wondering if are you going to keep building out the project or what's next from here? I think building on the project would be really cool. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I think like part of the idea behind designing the sounds like from um, from like the back end like this, just like going from the waveforms first, is that there definitely are a lot of possibilities. Like we're even like trying to do like a little bit of like fun stuff here with like effects and um, just like we made this funny like bubble sound at some point that didn't really end the project, <laughs> but like we definitely could do that. And like another really fun thing, like we work on some music together, so we'd love to um, like put some of these sounds into our own work. It's really fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, this is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. And once again, congratulations on finishing the semester and this incredible final project as well. Y'all should so truly be really thank proud you. of yourselves. Thank you so much for having us. Awesome. And well, thank y'all. And this was CS50.